everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see from the title of today's video, I am going to be unboxing a artist tablet. of it in the box right here. I actually got it two days ago and I waited to unbox it on camera because I wanted to do a video on it. So it took a lot of self-control for me not to open it, but I waited for you guys. I am so excited. But before I get started with the unboxing, I would like to thank today's sponsor, which is Factor 75. I love Factor Foods. They have sponsored me for months now and I'm just so happy to keep partnering with them because they are my favorite meal plan company and they make really easy, simple, healthy meals that get delivered straight to your door. They provide a menu each week on their website with a bunch of delicious, healthy meals. If you have certain taste preferences, dietary restrictions, or just preferences when it comes to food, then you can put it down. So for for example, I don't like seafood, so I always tell them that I do not want seafood and they have never sent it to me and every single meal I have ever gotten has been amazing and so delicious. So you put the meals in the microwave or the oven. I personally like doing the microwave because it heats up in less than three minutes for most meals and it's super quick and easy and it tastes like it was just cooked. So Factor offers meat, seafood, and veggie based dishes and preferences that include keto, Calorie Smart and Chef's Favorites. If you are someone that has a hard time meal planning or making healthy meals at home because you don't have time, this is a great way to do it. I personally have been trying to eat healthier and work out every single day and these meals have made it really easy for me because I know what I'm eating is good for me and it's really quick so when I'm working I can just eat it while I'm working and it's just really good. On their website they have tons of different plans that you can do. You can do four meals a week, six meals a week. I believe they have eight. They also have more than that. They also have Factor Plus, which includes a couple different things like juices, soups, energy bites, and things like that. I have tried their juices that they have sent me, and I've also tried their bars that they have, and they are so tasty. So if you guys are interested in trying out some healthy meals that is shipped right to your front door, I will have a link for Factor Foods down below. Get a hundred dollars off your first four weeks. If you click the link down below or use my coupon code, which I have down below, $100 off guys. That is a huge sale. I want to try it at least one time with this discount to see how you like it. I definitely recommend doing it. So I will have that down below. Thank you so much Factor for sponsoring this video and let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. So yeah, as many of you guys know, I actually recently got the Galaxy tab that I draw on and I love it. Don't get me wrong. I didn't get this because I hated my Galaxy tab or anything like that. For, I actually ordered this around my birthday and and there was some issues with shipping and stuff. So it came a couple days ago. So I wanted to just kind of spoil myself for from the birthday money that I got instead of spending it on like my animals or someone else because I always just tend to spend my money on other people. And I got this. I have wanted a drawing tablet that connects to your computer for so long now. My sister had, I think three different ones growing up and I was always so jealous of them because they looked so cool and I loved watching her draw on them. So I figured that I would spoil myself with this and it's the line friends edition as many of you guys know i love like cute little characters i love line play i love like the bt21 characters i just knew i wanted this one because it had the cute characters on it there are obviously tons of better tablets on their website but for this price range and how cute it is this is the one that i wanted to get so yeah like i said i do have my galaxy tab and i do draw on that all the time i really enjoy the s pen i think it works great and i can also connect that tablet to my computer if i wanted to but i just wanted to try an actual artist tablet that wasn't touchscreen because one of the issues I do have with my Galaxy Tab is that my hand touches the screen and it writes a lot. I did that on my iPad as well. I just find touchscreens while drawing to be a bit annoying and this one is not touchscreen. So that's why I wanted to try this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop talking now and I'm gonna go ahead and take the plastic off of this. I'm going to be opening my animal related Etsy shop very soon where I do digital art and paintings of animals. And I knew that this tablet would be really great for my Etsy shop. So I feel like it is a pretty good investment for me. All right, so let's look at the box 
here. I was gonna do it where you guys couldn't see my face and I was just opening it, but I know a lot of you guys really like my unboxings where you can see me, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way. Here is the box. As you can see, we have the line play characters. It's XP pin, if you guys didn't know. My sister growing up had the Wacom, or Wacom, I don't know how to say that brand, drawing tablets, and she wasn't a big fan of them. And I've also seen some iffy reviews on Wacom tablets or Wacom tablets. So I decided to go with XP pen because I've been seeing a lot of better reviews about XP pen tablets. Um, like I said, I'm not like a very professional artist or anything like that. I'm pretty like low on the scale when it comes to like a, being a talented artist or anything like that. I just mainly do it for fun. So yeah, I got the XP pen. And this is the Artist 12 Pro Line Friends Edition. They also just have the regular Artist 12 Pro that doesn't have the characters on it. And that one looks really nice too. And then the background just has the information on the tablet and what's going to come inside of the box. So let's just go ahead, open it. I feel like I should just do this. Like so you guys can just see what it looks like in this angle. All right, let's go ahead, open it. I know it comes with a lot of like really cute accessories and stuff, which I'm pretty excited about. So here is what it looks like when you first open the box. So I believe this is one of the accessories that this tablet comes with. And that's another reason why I wanted this because it's the same price as the other Artist 12 Pro that they have, but this one comes with a bunch of cute accessories. So why wouldn't I choose this one if it's coming with like basically free stuff? So first we have this XP Pen Line Friends little tote that you could like put the tablet in if you need to take it somewhere or you can just use it to go grocery shopping because it's environmentally better to use this instead of plastic bags. So this is really cute. I don't know. I don't remember the line friends characters names but I know that these are the two most popular ones. The back says XP pen. Then we have the tablet up here. So I'm not going to open this up quite yet. I'm going to see what's in the rest of the box but this looks like it's going to be the perfect size for me. It's actually a, just a tiny bit bigger than my Galaxy tablet. I'll show you guys that in a little bit better detail in a second. And then there's a bunch of more stuff underneath this. Oh my gosh, look how cute. It's so cute, I can't, okay. So next we have a little stand and it's a cute stand. That's what I really like about it. I've seen iffy things about the stand being good for artists because it's kind of low. The artists really have to bend down to draw, but I already have bad posture and I always bend over to draw anyway. So this stand might be good for me. You could always set it up on a couple books or something. But basically it's a stand that you just put the tablet on and draw. But yeah, it is a little low. And I just really like that it has the character on it. Oh my gosh comes a little pencil case. So this might be meant for like the stylus that this tablet comes with, but you could also just use it as a little pencil case or anything. Once again, has the character on it. And this seems like a really nice quality one too. This is so cute. Then we have stickers. You guys know that I hoard stickers. We have a glove, which I'm not really sure what the glove is for. I've always watched my sister uh, using the glove when you know we were younger when she would draw and stuff and I never really knew what they were for because this one's not touch screen but I wonder if it's just to make it more comfortable while you're drawing I'm not too sure but it actually fits my hand we have all of the cables I believe if you have a Mac computer or Mac laptop you need an adapter to be able to use these but I believe that I have all of the plugins that I need. Oh my gosh, a ruler and some sticky notes. I use sticky notes to annotate in books when I read and these are super cute ones. So I'm definitely going to be using these to annotate books. This is a perfect size ruler for annotating books. Then we have a little cleaning cloth and also warranty. And over on this side, we just have the wall plugin and all the different adapters for the different countries. And then lastly, we have the tube, which has the stylus in it. So I'm pretty nervous to see how the stylus feels in my hand. I always hated the Apple Pencil because it was always so big and like heavy and I really like the Galaxy S Pen because it's really small and light. So I'm hoping this is kind of in the middle of those two. Oh so at the top right here we have eight nibs, replacement nibs for the pen, which is nice. That's a lot of extras. And then when you open it, here is the stylus. Wow this is fancy. Oh yeah this feels really nice. This actually feels exactly what I was hoping it would feel like. It was like an actual like real pen that would you would use. I could see how these buttons right here could get in the way of drawing because I accidentally pressed the button on my S Pen a lot while I'm drawing. So I'll have to like maybe turn those off or something. We'll see. Yeah, this is the stylus and it also has a little stand. Yeah, here is the tablet. There's probably a bit of a glare. So let me just go ahead and take the plastic off. This is so nice. So it already has a screen protector on it. So you're just supposed to pull this off 
off. And I believe the screen to this is supposed to kind of feel like a paper-like texture, like a matte texture, which is what I really like. You can't really put a paper-like screen protector on the Galaxy tablet because it wears down the nib of the S Pen too much. So you can't really put a paper like onto your Samsung, which sucks because I prefer the feeling of a paper like when I had my iPad. So I think this is going to be really nice. It's an anti glare film. And on the side right here, we have all of the different buttons that you can program. We have different settings, and then we have the wheel right here, which you use to like zoom in and out and move and stuff like that. The little characters are at the top right right here. It's just like printed on. And that's literally it. Like I literally just wanted the bear and these characters on this tablet. Like that may be dumb, but I just love really cute accessories and stuff like that. So I just knew that I needed this. All right, I just went ahead and pulled off the protective layer and you might be able to tell from the sun that it's very anti-glare and it's a very matte screen. So I actually have my computer near my window. So having a glare on it would really suck. And this seems like it's going to be super nice. I am left-handed. I will have to use it like this which means the characters are going to be upside down when I'm drawing on the tablet, which does suck. Unfortunately, I'm left-handed, so I have to draw this way and use my right hand to use the shortcut keys and the everything. So the little characters are just gonna have to be upside down for me. I couldn't find any other unboxings or tutorials or anything where anybody else was left-handed, but it did say that it was compatible for people who are left-handed as well, which I would hope. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just hook it up to my computer. This isn't going to be a tutorial or anything. Like I said, I don't think I'm an amazing artist. I just do this for fun. So I'll just show you guys you know, kind of how it works a little bit. And I'm not gonna do any art or anything right now because frankly, I don't have time to do any art right now, unfortunately. But in future weekly vlogs, I will be doing art and showing you guys how it works and stuff. And I will review it in the future, hopefully. So let me just go ahead and hook it up to my computer. I'm probably going to use Pick Clip Studio because I pay for that on my Galaxy tablet and I really like it. Don't wanna pay for Photoshop. So I probably should pay for it in the future, but I don't feel like paying for it. So back to the camera, here is another little overview. I'm sorry, like I'm right by the window, so the <laughs> overcast light is like a lot, but the, I don't have tons of room on my desk, unfortunately, but I do find that this stand is pretty nice. Nice height for me. I think I may put like a book so I can make it a little bit higher because I do have to bend down quite a lot to be able to use this. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty, fast and pretty responsive, but like I said, it was faster. I don't know what setting I accidentally turned on to make it a little bit slower, but I just need to go and watch tutorials on the best settings for this tablet because there's tons out there. All the characters are upside down, which is fine. I can make this character not be upside down, but this is the little zoom. And then we have the different buttons that you can program to have different settings on it. And you don't have to use this for a drawing. Like a lot of graphic designers use tablets like this to do graphic design. A lot of people that just do a lot of writing, you can use tablets like this. Um, it doesn't have to nece necessarily be for just like drawing and art, but yeah, basically what I had to do was I hooked this up and then I hooked all the other cords to the back of the computer and there's a lot of cords. I'm not gonna lie, the cord to this tablet is pretty bulky and it's really messy, so that is annoying. So far, I'm really enjoying it, but you know, I keep going like this because I'm used to my iPad and my Galaxy tablet. When I'm drawing, I just zoom out with my finger, but now I have to use both hands. And you can also program your keyboard to do stuff too, so. It's like my little unboxing and like initial setup video. Like I said, it's probably going to take me like weeks to be able to understand everything because I, first of all, have only ever used like applications on tablets to draw. And while I did use Clip Studio Paint on my Galaxy Tab, it's a bit different on here than it is on my tablet. So I just need to get used to everything and I also need to get used to not touching it to zoom in and stuff, cause that's what I'm used to. Yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on like future vlogs and stuff with how I'm feeling about this. And if I think it's worth the money or not, it really wasn't that expensive at all. Actually, like I said, I did use birthday money, but um, for a starter tablet, I don't think the price is super bad. And I believe they're having a Black Friday sale right now where like all of their tablets are 30% off. I'm not sponsored by them at all, but I will put a link to their website down below just in case any of you guys are interested in checking them out. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out all of my 
links down below. I have my Patreon down below and all of my social medias. Make sure to check out the link down below for Factor 75. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. <laughs>